I'm finna show y'all one of the best places that you can get spicy food in all of Houston. Stop playing. Wings and the curry were gonna be as hot as you could get it, right? Yeah. Thank you. There are three different levels of spicy that you can get on every dish that you can order from this place. You already know what I did. I like to get it as spicy as I can. I like pretty much everything, but I gotta give this place a good 10 out of 10. You know, you could catch me over here about four times a week. Wow. Last time they told me that I had to sign a waiver to eat here and it wasn't even that spicy. So let's go back in there and give them another shot. Fire in the hole was as hot as it can go, right? Yeah. I like their fries, but when I'm going to get my side, I gotta have some mac and cheese, cause boy, busting ain't the word. It's saying though, and y'all see it got the fire in the hole. Bruh. But you really supposed to take some mac and cheese? It ain't spicy. Yo, you gotta check this out. All your challenges are fake. Now, before I even get to this, the only thing fake about me is this toupee. If you've been here since the beginning, back when my name was Cam underscore ever since 95, you know that I've been eating spicy stuff and I really don't care what nobody has to say. The only reason why I was wearing the toupee was because my hairline started to fade away. Okay, get back to this. Oh! I would like to thank my mama, my daddy, my fat ass head. I'd like to thank anybody who has ever liked, commented, shared our video. And listen, you better keep it spicy. Bro, why are you always eating spicy food? Don't you know your fans care about you, bro? We got another package from Bustin' Snacks. Hot and spicy Pringles. They like mini Pringles. Mmm. Beer flavored lays. Raspberry mousse Oreos. Not even that much mousse. Oh my. Snicker pods? Almost forgot that tropical minute made from China. I guess I got a hole in my lip. Sometimes busting. I really don't know what's going on right now, but Malad told me to meet him right here and he is gonna give me a gift. Oh, spice. Yo, this is for you, bro. Uh, you shouldn't have. <laughs> this is a gift that you don't really hold on to for long, so. Mmm. <laughs> Malad, you know, next time, you know, we could do like, you know, teddy bears, chocolate. <laughs> There's not many snacks that I haven't tried before, and all of these are from Bussin' Snacks. So let's see how Bussin' that they really are. Dorito Lime from Japan. 10 out of 10. Ketchup Cheetos from Poland. Oh, nah, I don't like ketchup. Spicy Lobster Lays. These are from Thailand. It tastes like lobster, so I'll give it about a seven. Spicy Lays from China. I'll give these a nine. Skittle cookies. I'll give them a little six out of ten. Jasmine peach Fanta from China. 
10 out of 10. Oh yeah, that's bossa. You know that everybody loves Subway, but when I get my buffalo chicken, Italian herb and cheese, there's only one person that I want to make it. Bruh, why'd you put so many jalapenos on here? Bro, you're the spice king. I thought it was too much. Never too much. Now y'all know I've never taken you to a vegan restaurant before, and I'm not vegan, but I love coming here for nachos, and I'm about to show y'all why. I mean, come on, with all the ingredients that they have, this place was to die for. Mm. All right, all right, you win. Welcome back to snacks that I wish we had in the US. Devil chips. And we may have these in the US, I'm just not sure. Pink Oreos. They kind of look just like the Lady Gaga Oreos. And actually someone else recommended this to try and they said to shake it. Pretty sure you can get these in the United States. I couldn't find these anywhere. Smogs. Pretty sure it's safe to say that they just got better snacks. <laughs> 